Do you remember a time when you suddenly felt intensely angry and frustrated and thinking back you don't recognize yourself and your behavior or you cannot even remember what happened? Or a time when you felt so overwhelmed that you just wanted to disappear, disconnect from everybody and everything, cocoon yourself in the sofa or in bed? Do you ever feel so distracted or absent-minded and cannot remember what was happening at the time? These are examples of times when we are outside of our window of tolerance. But what is a window of tolerance? Window of tolerance is a term used to describe the zone of optimal internal activation and connection with the environment in which a person is able to function well. This includes external information, what's happening around us, and internal information, how we're feeling inside. When we are within our window of tolerance, it is easier to respond to the demands of everyday life without much difficulty, to have important conversations with people and take perspective, and think of solutions when we are faced with a challenge or a problem. We can be hyper-aroused, above our window of tolerance. When we are hyper-aroused, we may notice signs of dysregulation such as feeling agitated, restless, anxious or angry. This happens when our brain interprets a situation as a threat or a danger to us, either physical or emotional threat. We can also be hypo-aroused, below our window of tolerance. This is when we notice an urge to shut down and disconnect from our surroundings. We may feel tired, sluggish, spaced out and distracted. In extremely difficult situations, you may feel completely zoned out and numb, both emotionally and physically. Some people may feel that they cannot react, they feel frozen, or they may notice a loss of strength. Why does this happen? These sensations are part of what we call the fight or flight response. When this happens, the protective part of our brain that is involved in keeping us safe and alive takes over from the thinking part of the brain. It's one of the responses that we share with animals. Some animals fight with a predator. For example, a buffalo protecting a calf or they run away from the predator, such as antelopes. And some animals would freeze or flop, which makes them look like they are sick, as this increases the chances of the predator being put off by a sick animal and leaving them alone. The way animals and humans respond depends on the fast assessment that the protective part of the brain makes of the situation and what makes it more likely to survive. Our window of tolerance is not static. It is different for different people, depending on a number of factors, for example, your life experiences and your current circumstances. Our window can be narrower when we are stressed and it widens when we are relaxed, worry-free and when we feel safe. The window of tolerance can also be widened by using strategies and tools that can help you get out of survival mode. When you start therapy for PTSD and trauma, the window of tolerance can be really helpful to understand some of the symptoms of trauma, which often lead people outside of their window of tolerance. Your therapist will generally spend a number of sessions teaching you grounding skills and tools to help you stay within your window of tolerance and to expand your window. Once you have some essential emotional regulation and self-soothing skills, you and your therapist can go on to working with your traumatic memory. This is an important part of the therapy and it will help you through the next stages of trauma-focused therapy.